India's successful launch of Chandrayaan-3 aimed at demonstrating soft landing capabilities on the lunar surface has sparked jealousy and uncalled sermons from the United Kingdom. This is Piyush Balda from DFI Post and let's embark on a cosmic comedy journey where British politicians and their assumptions collide with India's wit and space prowess. The UK, known for its British weather as tasteless as its food, found itself green with envy as India embarked on its lunar mission. Ironically, the UK, having never sent a spacecraft to the moon, took it upon itself to lecture India on ethics. Well, 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 it seems like the erstwhile colonizers seem to be trying their hand at interstellar diplomacy. Enter Paul Golding, a British politician and leader of the British First Political Party. He couldn't resist tweeting his disapproval, masking it as concern about foreign aid from the UK to India. Oh, Paul, tell us much? Shouldn't you focus on your own economy rather than commenting on India's stellar achievements? Paul Golding was not alone in his envy-fueled rants. Many British supremacists still living in the assumption of India being a third world country found their misplaced superiority complex threatened. Dear Brits, it's time to let go of your colonial hangover and embrace the fact that India is marching ahead in space exploration. Indian netizens, ever ready with their witty comebacks, wasted no time in responding to the condescending tweet. They reminded the British politician of Britain's historical plundering of Indian wealth, looting trillions of dollars and causing immense suffering. Ouch! That must have stopped. Age made the discussion inevitably turned into the topic of foreign aid. Indians pointed out that their country no longer accepts aid from the UK as India funds its own space program and has its own foreign aid budget. It seems the UK's aid is not as essential as they would like it to be. India has always stood proud in its ability to handle crises on its own. When faced with natural disasters or challenges like the devastating floods in Kerala, India refused external aid, including a generous offer from the UAE. The message is clear. India can manage its own affairs. Thank you very much. While India may have once accepted foreign aid, it has since changed its approach. Rather than relying on external assistance, the country has shifted to different terms of receiving aid. This decision has ruffled feathers among UK parliamentarians who seemed perplexed by India's self-sufficiency. India's space program spearheaded by the Indian research organization or ISRO has made significant strides over the years. From launching satellites to successful missions to the Moon and Mars, India's contribution to space exploration are commendable. The nation's scientists and engineers have demonstrated innovation, resourcefulness and determination in their pursuit of celestial exploration. India's achievements have garnered international recognition and respect. Despite facing challenges during the Chandrayaan-2 mission, the country's resolve to learn from setbacks and persist in its pursuit of lunar exploration is admirable. Upon successful execution of Chandrayaan-3 mission, India will be placed in an elite league joining the ranks of the United States, Russia and China as nations capable of soft landing on the moon. The cosmic comedy between the UK and India serves as a microcosm of two different mindsets. While the UK clings to the essence of superiority rooted in the past, India embraces the vision of progress and self-reliance. The ability to laugh at the irony and respond with wit is a testament to India's resilience and confidence on the world stage. As India sets its sights on conquering new frontiers, the UK's lunar envy and misplaced lectures only add an amusing twist to the cosmic comedy. India's unwavering determination, self-reliance and witty comebacks in the face of jealous commentary make for a stellar performance. So dear UK, sit back, enjoy the show and maybe consider sending your own spacecraft to the moon before offering unsolicited advice to the stars. As India continues to reach for the skies, the cosmic comedy unfolds, reminding us all of the power of ambition, resilience and the ability to find humor in the vast expanse of the universe.